Alright. Time to be led by the child. Yeah. Hmm. These kids look familiar. How did it get this far? Who are all these strange people? You're the one, aren't you? The You're one the what? One, aren't you? Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's freaky. Just throw a ball of fire at me. Jeez, my aim really sucks. Hello, don't know who the heck you are, but thanks. Haha. <laughs> Wait, you still alive? Got him. Before he kills you. Wait, he's just Inferno. You. So it turns out you don't have the cojones to kill me when you have the chance. You fucking inmate. Go to hell, I am done with you. He'll shoot you in the back. Give him a reason to trust you. Why do you follow me, inmate? Who are you fooling? You hate me as much as I hate you. All you inmates think CEOs are evil, but we are prisoners in Abbott as much as you. You ever think of that? When this shit happened, I immediately headed to town, down this road. I wanted to find Consuela and my daughters. They're beautiful girls. But I got to our house, it was on fire. These fucking putos everywhere. No sign of my family. I've been looking ever since, and I will not give up. You still here, inmate? Torque. Isn't that what they call you? Well, come on then. We may hate each other, we may die anyway, but we will kill more of these putas together than alone. Don't you like the nice, soothing language in this game? Well, dude, I hope you know where you're going. Because I'm following you. Yes, let's see what this has to say about the Inferno. Festive. Inferno. From what I have witnessed, this manifestation of evil appears to have two distinct forms. The first, a young girl in Puritan dress, perhaps 13 years of age. This transforms into an altogether more disturbing flaming creature. Both clutch a small handmade doll. To my mind, there is no doubt that these creatures are tied to the three young girls who made witchcraft accusations in the late 1600s and led to the incendiary death of 11 innocents. Hermes. The lighthouse. The lighthouse is the oldest standing structure on Carnate Island. Its cornerstone states its date of construction as 1834. The light was originally oil powered, but since the 1950s has run off of a nearby generator. Similarly, the lighthouse's rotation was originally powered by a system of gears that would periodically need to be recranked. To this day, when the power goes off, the motion needs to be restarted by hand cranking. Hmm. All right. This way, you mate. Vamanos. 
The Coast Guard is our only hope to survive, and they need the lighthouse on in order to land here. But the earthquake knocked the power out. We need to get the generator started again. Follow me. Well, let's say lead the way, but there seems to be only one other path, so... When you shoot these burning Diablos, make sure you finish them. Destroy their ashes. It is the only way to make sure they do not come back. Noted. Wait, where are you? Oh, crap, burr. This way, you mate. Vamanos. What are they doing? Won't they let the dead rest? That's actually a good question. Why did they what are they doing? Never thought they'd really do it. It all went wrong. It was fun at first. Fun. We Choosing people that. of witchcraft and we having them killed was that. fun. Jeez. Heartless. Well, dang. Ernesto had brought over the heck your name is. Why did he run straight into it? Well, he needs to watch out. Fine, you take that one out, I'll destroy the ashes. As if you can hear me. Oh! Dang, dude! What is with NPCs and constantly running in front of you when you're shooting? Not on Carnate. Or running into grenades that you throw at enemies. Seriously. This way, you mate. Vamanos! Why do they call you Torque? Artificial well, intelligence doesn't seem to be too much but too intelligent. Oh, we see through your code words, your stupid tricks. Torque. That is a stupid name. Alright. Better save, because there's no freaking telling what's gonna happen. I should probably not throw any more grenades, because. Ernesto or Eduardo or whatever his name is. I'll just call him Fur. We'll probably run straight into it again. Well, maybe Fur doesn't fit, I mean. If it was Fur, he'd have to be constantly asking me if I needed the grenades. Or if I wanted the grenades. Look out for the fire! It's going to blow! <laughs> was that just in gears? Whoa! Ugh. He's fire resistant! This guy must have... Well, I would say he must have been taking lessons from Chris Redfield, but... This came out before Chris punched the rock in the volcano, so... Maybe he taught Chris how to be resistant. <laughs> oh, jeez! I wish I could do that. Well, if you're gonna get those ashes, I'll get these. Done. Haha. <laughs> Wait, why did it take him so few shots to take that one out? There we well. 
No one was thought that these infernos were the most annoying, difficult enemy in the game, but... I don't know, so far they don't seem to be that bad. I think these burrows are a little bit more annoying. You know what I hate? Marksmen have had a bit more than burrows, and the mainliners, especially. Oh, shoot. Thank you, I'm afraid. To... Okay, there we go. Let's say I'm afraid to shoot because I'm afraid I'll hit him. What was he shooting at? Was he helping me out? Either way, save time. 